The Imo State Police Command says operatives have a good handle on the challenges facing the country. Police Public Relations Officer Bala El Kana said this in the wake of the killing of those behind the murder of Ahmed Gulak, a former advisor to the ex-president Goodluck Johnson. Our correspondent at Debanke Duni has more. Imo State, like other southeastern parts, has been experiencing security challenges. However, the state was plunged into the limelight when Ahmed Golak, a former advisor to ex-president Goodluck Jonathan, was shot dead while in the state. While speaking on the development, the police public relations officer, Bala Elkana, says the situation has been brought under control as police operatives were able to stop the attack attacks of hoodlums. He also assures that the hoodlums responsible for the assassination of Ahmed Golak have been neutralized. To be honest with you, we are fully in control of our public space. Otherwise, there will not be single movement. These guys, we are determined, we are daring, we are out to kill to maim and to disturb the peace of the state, but for the resilience of our men, for the gallant effort of our men, we're able to stop them. And life is still going on in Imo State. We have massive deployment all over. The PPRO hinted that those behind the murder of Golak were members of the Independent People of Biafra, IPOB, and the Eastern Security Network, ESN. He explains further how they are identified. They are not unknown men. We know them. We know the hoodlums. We know those guys. Those also who killed good luck, we were able to uncover them because we engaged them yesterday and we got them down. So they are known. They have a particular emblem and also talking to them during investigation, they confess, they confirm that they are members of these uh, uh, proscribed uh, groups. Then we also have some criminal elements, also some hoodlums. Speaking on the mood of the state currently, a resident of the state says many people are terrified. People here are very terrified because there are a lot of trepidations in the city about these uh, shootings, the unknown government. And uh, I, if I can say, majority of emo lies are very much afraid of where to go or where to be and even to come out to do their businesses in emo states. On the party front, an investigation into the murder of Golak has been called for and Northern Youth, who had issued an ultimatum, are also encouraged to embrace peace. As a party also, we have called and still calling on all relevant security agencies to ensure a clinical investigation of this serious act so as to bring the perpetrators to book, no matter how highly placed they are. In recent times, the security challenges have been blamed on the proscribed group who are seeking self-actualization. Reporting for Plus TV Africa, Adebanke Odunui. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.